when somebody comes in to purchase a firearm, uh, they must first have you know, Tennessee uh, driver's license or an ID, and they must, certain, they must meet certain criteria uh, to be a Tennessee resident if they're going to be buying a handgun. Once we've, they've decided to purchase a particular gun, then it, we come up and we do uh, what we call a 4473 form on them, and we process that through directly through the uh, TBI um, to the internet. And uh, usually they respond back in anywhere between a minute to uh, 15 to 20 minutes at the top. On occasions, we have denials. And the denials uh, can be kind of traumatic for somebody that has no clue as to what would cause them to be denied. You can kind of imagine that. On top of that, it gets compounded when there's a lot of people around. There's an embarrassment factor. It's like, uh, it's even more embarrassment embarrassing than uh, your credit card being denied. Our denials most of the time are overturned within a couple days. Uh, what we do is we try to pull them aside and let them know that these things do happen and try to turn it as much into a positive for them as we can by letting them know that this whatever was in their background was there before they walked in the door and finding this out gives them the opportunity to correct it. And for a $10 fee, you know, they're not going to be able to go out and hire an attorney to, to do a background on them to find out where these discrepancies are. And also, it's caused a lot of people to uh, maybe not get hired or to, to lose employment because these discrepancies were in their, their background.